Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this phone stand uploaded by Go Aftons. First things first, we're going to go down to the developer notes to see if they have any specifications. And they say rafts don't matter and supports, yes. So we do need supports for sure. Once you're ready, we're going to go up here and click on this blue down all files. And we should get a folder similar to this. Now you can safely ignore this .fpp file, we just need the STL, so click and hold on this STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to load in. Once it's loaded in, we're going to do one thing before we start messing with the print settings, and that's orientate the model. If you orientate the model sideways, it will actually save you some time and filament. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, you have to click on the model anywhere. You're going to see these little uh, arrows pop up. Now we're going to go to this uh, toolbar on the left hand side. And we are going to click on the third one down, which is rotate. And once we're here, we're going to go to the last button, which is select face to align to build plate. We're going to click on that. And we're going to move our mouse over the model. Just move your mouse a little. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to click on this face. This face you see right here. Just click on it and it should rotate it to the orientation that we want. Now we're going to go back up here to this move uh, setting right here, and we're going to change every number you see here to 0, 0, 0. That should just center our model. But once we're done with that, we can now start messing with print settings. The print settings should be pretty straightforward. We're going to go over here to Profile, and we're going to click here. You can select whatever layer height you want, I highly recommend just use the lowest quality or the largest uh, layer height you have because there's not a lot of details in here. It's just meant to be a phone stand. So make it nice and quick. Just select the lowest quality you have. If this pops up, simply click on discard. Infill, we're not going to change. So we're going to leave that as it is, although you can lower it if you want. But I'll just keep it at 20%. Supports, we will need supports, so we're going to go here where it says generate supports and click on that. Now in order to make these super easy to remove, we're going to first change our overhang angle to whatever your default angle is. Mine is usually around 60-65, so I'll change mine to 65. If you have a basic printer, um, let's say like an Ender, Ender 3, I would just stay with, uh, within the 55 range. Next, we're going to go down here to the support density, and we're going to change this number down to 5%. Now, if you do not have support density, you're going to put your mouse over here, click on this gear icon, and simply search up uh, support density. Then this should pop up, and just make sure that's checked. Then close that. So that's going to go down to 5%. Then we're also going to change the support Z distance to... So mine's already at 0 0.28, so that's good. Um, if it's a little higher, then, or sorry, if it's a little lower, change it up to 0.28%. If it's higher than that already, just keep it at whatever uh, number you have. Just make sure it is over 0 0.28. Next, we're gonna go to build plate adhesion. Now the developer said that it didn't matter. And if you have good adhesion, you do not need any build plate adhesion. But for my case, I have a glass bed. And whenever I printed this model, I had severe warping on this little hand right here. I've never had any warping before, but this model somehow decided to uh, give me warping. So I don't know if my house was too cold and the ambient temperature was just off, but uh, if, if you have a glass bed or if you have poor adhesion, add a brim. If you do not have any adhesion problems, then you do not have to add any uh, build plate adhesion. I will though, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select brim, and then uh, we'll leave everything how it is here. <clears throat> but once we're done with that, we're, uh, we're basically finished. All you have to do now is click on slice and give it a few seconds to slice up. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly five hours and 19 minutes, but that will depend on your printer and the settings that you used as well as a estimated filament usage of 54 grams. Now we always preview the print, and here, take a look around the model, see if anything weird is, or funky is going on. We see the supports here, we 
we see the brim down there. And if you didn't have a brim, then you're not going to see this little blue lines down here. But uh, other than that, everything looks pretty good. So just save the file and send it over to your printer. This is the model straight off the print bed. The supports aren't too difficult to remove, but they may be a hassle if you don't remove them correctly. Try to push near the top of the support in order to get those removed a lot quicker and easier. You may have to post process the model with a little bit of sanding in order to remove some rough edges. Here's the model straight off the print bed. It should be noted that the actual opening is only one centimeter uh, in length, meaning most newer phones, especially those with cases, will not fit inside of those grooves, but they will happily stand at the very top. Everything came out pretty good, except with my model, like I mentioned before. I did get a little bit of warping, and that's probably because of uh, my build plate adhesion issues that I've had recently. So if you don't have any build plate adhesion issues, then you should be fine. You shouldn't have that curve like mine does. And like I said, it really does work with both a case or no case at all. But if you do have a case, it'll just stand on top of the grooves rather than inside. In the end, the model came out beautifully and I do enjoy it. I use it basically daily. So I would definitely recommend this print for anybody who wants a little phone stand.